All right, friends, um, on step here. I'm out at New Bern, North Carolina, one of the places that I'm gonna volunteer with Eight Days of Hope to help do some stuff in people's houses and just love on them. Um, but anyways, today I wanted to, to get back in my yak and uh, kind of scout out the waters here in New Bern. Um, anyways, I think they had a lot of flooding probably about a week ago. And so it's just the aftermath. And I'll show you some footage. Lots of dead, nasty fish. This water is icky right now. You got your big old catfish right here. Ugh. <laughs> Check out this boat. It uh, got wedged underneath the dock as the dock was lowering itself and the water was rising. So that boat is totaled. Several boats, uh, yeah, they're all underwater because um, the, the, I was told the water level rose about 10 feet and then it dropped um, pretty quick, pretty quickly. And then that water level is also moving, so you gotta factor that in. There's um, several empty rooms with uh, just, they're cleared out. They're, they're stopping for a lunch break, but this is uh, what we're working with. So this house flooded five feet and um, another church has came through and as well some volunteers of the family members uh, that anyways of her house came out and they've gutted out a lot but you can kind of see the standing and what we're doing is we're still pulling out some drywall some nails um, and insulation so you basically gut the house after it I've never been part of this operation before but um, this is really eye-opening I'm gonna make you famous. Uh -oh. <laughs> so pretty much these houses that have been flooded, they just remove everything and throw it in the front yard. Some things to try airing it out and then other things just to be taken out to the trash. So in preparation for the flooding that may occur here in Conway, they have this like mobile gas station right there that's pretty cool. Lots of the local buildings have sandbags surrounding them. See how that works when this puppy rises. I've never seen the Waccamaw this high and I don't think a lot of these residents have seen it either. Alright, so I'm fixing to launch in. Um, I'm in a church parking lot, Conway Free Will Baptist Church. And um, they're already getting some flooding down there in the back. This is their parking lot, but I'm all rigged up. I figure this is a proper place to start my adventure. I feel like I'm supposed to be out here, so we'll check out why. I just spoke with that gentleman on the boat. This is his house. Um, so he's just checking in on it, taking a couple pictures. This is the Waccamaw flooding. The poor guy, I can't imagine um, seeing your possessions and maybe a house full of memories just like shattered. You know what I mean? All because of flood. Right now I'm in the middle of a road on the Waccamaw, and the um, water's probably about six feet deep. There's a helo that flies over every now and then, so they're recording footage. Um, but yeah, out here to lend a hand, I was seeing if he needed any help. 
Um, he wasn't very talkative. He, I think he's kind of bummed out or in shock or something. So I don't know if you can see him in the water. Where is that beastie? Yep, right over there. That's a baby alligator. He just swam right next to my boat. Duh, it gives me the willies. Here in front of me, I have a big old water moccasin, I think. I don't know if you can see it in the water. Quick bit of water survival. These right here are floating fire ants. I gotta push my kayak before these guys get on me, but if you hit this man, you'd be in a world of hurt. Fire ant mound floating. Then right over here is a trailer. I'm getting pooped. That's the Waccamaw right there. Um, I've been canoeing on it a couple times, kayaking only once, other than today. But I tell you what, I'm no match for this water. It's going pretty quick um, right there in the center of the river. There's 501 up there, and I'm floating behind a, the back of a house now. Somebody's house. I'm thinking this is a road right here that I was just over. Well, I was looking for a place to stay tonight, hopefully somewhere that has a pool. And these guys do have a pool out front. Um, two story, it's pretty nice. I think they, I don't think I'll have any trouble with vacancy, so. Yeah, hopefully they'll do a military discount and I'll get checked in here soon. So I think my takeaway lesson from all of this shenanigans is that if I'm going to go out on a kayak to help people, I need to do it while the flood is actually increasing rather than where it's at. Because I think it's flooded here. Today is the uh, 26th. Um, I think it happened a few days back. And so, anyways, I just had a reality flash. Um, let me show you why. So I'm here at the Waccamaw, right? Waccamaw River, watching it do its thing. Got a flooded boat dock or shed here. This house is a bit flooded there. And you got this one on the stilts, right? And I'm just listening to things around me. And then, lo and behold, 140. These guys' AC unit kicks on. So they're pumping AC into their house that is not flooded by the looks of it. And who knows, they could be even monitoring me on their security camera on top. That is if they have internet, which they probably do as well. <laughs> it's crazy the technology we have, it's awesome. All right, so this is gonna conclude on Steps River Adventure um, here in Conway, South Carolina. If you did lose your house or property um, because of this Hurricane Florence and the flooding, my heart goes out to you. Sorry that happened. Um, as well as you guys out in Carolina, North Carolina and Virginia, um, I finished. I just worked two days with eight days of hope. And um, yeah, I worked my tail end off and had a lot of fun, made some good friends out there. But um, it was great getting to love on some folks who just experienced um, big tragedy and uh, yeah whether if it was prayer or a hug or just somebody you vent to like it's cool that that organization exists to help people in the midst of their tragedy completely for free and so if you're ever looking to be a first responder um, and you're looking for something like that or to help rebuild as well they do rebuild projects after natural disasters like hurricanes and floods and so you could help that way too um, but nonetheless Wherever a disaster happens, uh, they're usually out and about quickly to respond to that and help people. As well as Red Cross, um, Rubicon is a really cool one I was trying to get involved to, but you got to get a background check done. And uh, I don't, I don't want to drop 30 bucks to do that just yet. So, anyways, 
Um, you guys go have your own adventure, whatever that looks like, from responding to hurricanes, to floods, to tornadoes, to hiking the trails of the Appalachian Mountains. Um, until next time, I'll see you out there.